This is another room by uh, Brushstroke. She asked me to uh, turn on some, pay attention to the details, okay? Uh, she asked me to test room, test drive the room, so here we go. This room is played by the board game Clue Cluedo. We're going to go six color named characters. The weapons, the identification, the method. We took the games to do so. Murder was, where the murder happened, which weapon was used by the simple game. Because it was inspired by the game, but you were the same, but you have to use the same reason to clues in order to solve the mystery. <sighs> Classic game choice weapons dagger, revolver, rope, candlesticks, pipe wrench. I've never played Clue, just FYI. There was that map. I think it was an actual Cluedo map. But the problem is, is that I never solved it because I didn't know how to. And I'm not sure how early the room was, so. Welcome to Secret Allies Escape Room, Madam, Madam Green. I thought it was Mr. Green. There's a found murder, and there's only five hostile suckers, all their closest friends. You need to locate the crime scene, determine the murder weapon, and find the difference between the secrets and alibis, and there's a separate killer's name. Complete all three tasks to escape. Okay. I do love these portraits we had painted. Make sure to take a close look at all of them. Why does this look like Pierce Bronson? I'm, th I'm thinking this is all AI stuff, but that's the way it looks. It looks kind of like AI-ish. But, that's fine. Senior, oh, what? What did that do? 419? Well, I didn't do anything. Oh, Bujo Blanca? I wonder if I have to do that. Boo. Let me try that. There's no walkthrough. I have to ask her. Okay. Boo ho. Boo ho. Oh. Lounge. So he was in the lounge. Got it. With a candlestick. I take it. Uh, what's this? Smoke and mirrors. Perfect combo for mystery. How'd you make the custom book? Morgno, cause of death was due to blunt force trauma to the skull. Okay, blunt force trauma to the skull. Well, it's not 419, so we know that. By size, Cigaretta, Perella. Toro. Toro, Toro, Toro. It's only four letter word on here, so it has to be Toro, Toro, Toro. Not Toro. Perla. Uh -huh. I thought it'd be Toro. Churchill, Corona. Hmm. There's probably something else I'm missing. Ah, 538. Let's try that. 538. 5, 3, Ocho. Gotta be a way in there. Toro, Corata, Pearl. Dude, it looks kind of long. All right, let's moving on. Let's see what. All right, we got something in the library. Two numbers. Madam Green. I do hope you can solve the mystery of my murder. If you need to take a closer look. Just use the magnifying glass in the drawer. Door, door. I heard a drawer. I see shoes. Ah. Oh, what? What? Oh, wow. This is interesting. So this is kind of like, what's this? Pin stuck into Europe. Ah. So, dining room. Ew. Okay. Look close. This is original any clues to the murder mystery. You don't have to complete anything in the certain room to escape. Yeah. So, work has already been done for you only at the crime scene and murder location and weapons. All clues have been treated in fact as all in case. Okay. Oh, gosh. Alright, well, blood force trauma. Uh, let's see. So I got the candlestick. 
So it could be something with the candlestick so far. Ah, this is a neat little thing. Okay. Okay, how do I go back? Okay. Okay, vase. There's a key at the bottom of the vase. Yeet! Oh, I thought it was going to break. Well, so far, comparably to that other Cluedo map, I like this one a lot better. Professor Plum's lecture. Within the grandeur of the old clock's face, one finds riddle of time's weight. As the hands weave their enigmatic dance, hidden beneath lies a secret of Madame Green's embrace, where past and future intertwine in the heart of the age sentinel. It's a very thick country X. Said something about the thing. I have an eight and twelve. There's a five. Okay. I have a five. Hang on. Listen, listen again. Within the grandeur of the old clock's face, one finds riddle of time's weight. As the hands weave their enigmatic dance, hidden beneath lies a secret of Madame Green's embrace. Eight, five. Our past and future intertwine in the heart of the age sentinel. Ah, eight five. Okay. Go back. Okay, I have the library. I don't know where it was at yet. But I do know what I can do. Madam Green can find Professor Plum that she was having an affair with a married man. Ah. Okay. Put that there. Put that there. Okay. I have a revolver. Perfect. Wait. That seems too specific now. I've been hanging on to this hat and I don't even know why. <laughs> uh, Senior Blanco's hat. Is there something inside the hat I should be looking at? Hmm. Smoke and mirrors. Perfect combo for mystery. Well, there's an eight, four, oh wait, smoke plus mirrors. Ow. Yeah, let me write it down. So, four, one, nine, five, three, eight, let's add it together. 17, five, nine, five, seven. Ah, smoke and mirrors. Nine, five, seven. Aha, okay. I supposed to do? Uh, Alright, so I have a thing here that tells me what they're supposed to be. Okay, at the very top is Cigarillo. So at the very top is Cigarillo for the smallest. Then it's Perla. Perla. Then Robusto. Okay, this is actually an innovative. I know it's just a thing of puzzle, but nonetheless, Campana, actually having to do something like this is actually quite interesting. Campana, then Corona, Corona, Corona. I actually like cigars. My dad used to smoke them, but the problem is that, you know, he stopped and everything because Lord told him, you know, stop and everything. Corona Grande. And then Toro, and the last one, Churchill. Okay, I got a knot. Pretty sure it's a knot. So the thing is, why would I want to, you know, pick up something? You know, the Lord told my dad, and for health reasons and everything, he stopped. Why would I want to pick it up? Plus this whole condition that I'm in, with my, with my head, that's definitely not something I want to do. I, Look like I smoke enough with this uh, freaking straw in my mouth. I got a bunch of cheese. Okay, there you go. Mr. Pickle was seen in the manor staff reading the paper over a tray of fruit in the study at the time of the murder. Is that supposed to happen? 
I'm guessing there's some sort of thing there. Then. There's a dagger. A combination of trees and a bunch with a rind. Left or right. Okay, I'll get to that in a moment. What? Do I have to stand there? Okay. <laughs> what is this? Da 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 da. I appreciate the nutcracker music. Well, that was interesting. And why after the doctor were the last to leave the ballroom. Okay, let me put all these clues and stuff away because obviously I'm getting a lot of stuff here and I need to make sure I'm... Okay. Dining room. Clues 7 out of 8. Let's put this down here. Uh, keep that. Dagger. Right there. Scarlet. Senor Blanco, okay. Uh, let's clue six out of eight, put that there. Okay. Back to the rind. All right, ballroom, corner bust. Signature seal. Okay. Global military history. Maybe keep that. All right, this is location, who did it, and what was the murder weapon, I take it. Okay. Meanwhile, what am I doing wrong with this? This is a knot. Is it a knot? Is it not a knot? K-N-O-T. Why is that not not it? Uh... I don't get it. What's a knot? What? I don't know that one. Hall. Conservatory. Let's just deal with the plant things. Uh, come back to that. Ha! Clever. Go back. I'm just trying to get everything mag together. Billiards room, conservatory, there's a hall. Military history. Yes, I sure shall. Very, very much so. Okay. Military history. Oh, I have another one. Ball room. Ball gown. There we go. I was going to say, why is it not working? Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, what am I doing wrong on this? Journey Lounge. It's obviously a cigar there. There's two cigars. It's not Toro and it's not Not. So I'm not sure. <laughs> not K N O T. Just making sure it's in the right spot. K N O T. No. Uh, unless it's rope. Let me try rope. R P E. It's rope. Ah. Okay. Go back to the thing. You know, Candle Jack likes rope. Okay, four. So this would be four right here, and you move two over here. I don't want to focus on it until I get to the end. I want to solve everything first. Okay, 
So, did that. I'm gonna do the tree thing. Well, that might be the hardest thing. Let me pull it off. Okay, let me look at this. I hope there's you could have one to take a moment to reflect my own Oh, wait, let me read his uh, thing with you. I hope this letter finds you in good health. I wanted to take a moment to reflect on the great military leaders from that history who have influenced my own leadership. These remarkable individuals have left an invaluable mark on the art of war. Genghis Khan, with his unmatched strategic brilliance, taught me the importance of adaptability and mobility in warfare. Alexander the Great's audacious conquests reminded me of my significance of vision and daring. Napoleon's ability to marshal resources and employ innovative tactics continues to inspire me to this day. And Hannibal Barca, with his genius in unconventional warfare, reinforced the value of supplies in asymmetric tactics. Studying the legacies of these leaders has enriched my understandings of military strategy and leadership, and I strive to incorporate their lessons into my own command style. It is through their examples that I am led with wisdom, vision, and a commitment to excellence. Warm regards. Additionally, please give my best to General Clemson. Now, you, you can see with my vision and excellence, I've even bolded the letters that you probably are going to need in order for, well, anything. All right, now let's see what this book is. To the book. I said, to the book. Okay. Alexander the Great. If I'm supposed to be looking for, you know, time. So... By order which things were done, we have Alexander, Hannibal, Hannibal, no. then Genghis Khan, Napoleon Bonaparte, and then Addition. We don't know who Addition is. Colonel Title Seal, Boyd Muscard Signature Seal. Title seal. Okay. Colonel Boyd Mustard. Warm remarks, Colonel Boyd Mustard. Now who's Boyd? I'm not exactly sure what do I need this clue for though. What do I wear? Okay. So, I have those five. Am I supposed to put the year? Additionally, oh, addition. I have to add what each of the, uh, I have to add what the numbers they reigned were I'm taking. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the calculator out here. All right, so 356 minus 323 equals 33. So am I adding the years, how old they were? Let me try that. All right, 247 minus 181, 66. So 33, Genghis, I mean, uh, Alexander, Hannibal. All right, Genghis Khan, uh, 1227 minus 1162. 65 and then Napoleon 1821 minus 1769 52 okay so add those together plus 65 plus 33 plus 66 uh, 216 216 uh, unless it's the years that Additionally, because you go back to the thing that says addition, but what am I exactly additionally having? What am I adding together? I have Genghis Khan. A few moments later. Okay, so 
the dev says I'm adding the birth years. So 356 plus 247 plus 1162 plus 1769, 3,534, 3,534, okay. If you knock someone out with this type of pipe, you, you've done something extremely well being able to use. Okay, study. I enjoyed a hunk of pipe. This is clue five. So I'm still missing three and seven. No, three and eight. Okay, so I got that one last thing of the uh... Okay. All right. Um, take this. I have one, two, three. I better write this down because if I don't. All right, so three apples, three, four, five, six oranges, one cheese, now grapes is gonna be very difficult. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know. A bunch of grapes. <laughs> I don't know what else you're gonna say. Alright, it's two, get rid of this, get rid of that. Okay. Combination of trees in a bunch with the rind, ripe quinoine, left to right. Okay. So, left, that's right, okay. All right, in a bunch, well, grapes are in a bunch, left to right. Okay, so left to right, so one, one, one. All right, so one, 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 one. So one, one, one. Let me, let me try that. One, 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 with a rind, with the rind, with the rind. Uh, well, oranges have rind, so zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, and then ripe canine. Cheese, apples. Has to be apples, right? Apples is one, one, zero. Right? One, one, zero, yeah. One, one, zero. Uh, no. Alright, let me try the, with the rind again. Zero, zero, one. Yeah, that's what I put. Zero, zero, one. So the rind, then a bunch, unless I'm supposed to do like, in a bunch, with a rind, ripe cane, ripe cane, that'd be one, zero, one. I'll try it. One, zero, one, and then, because orange is on the same thing, this grape, that's zero, one, one, so zero, one, one. And then ripe canine on the other side is one one zero, so one I'm trying to test it. No. Uh I'm gonna. I mean we got a bunch, grape, apple. Um Okay, hang on. We got this stinking thing here. Zero, one. Left to right, in a bunch, with a rind. Ripe. One, one, zero. 
left to right. So in a bunch, great, because one, 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 zero, 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 one, 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 zero. But it's not that. Zero, zero, one, one, zero. Why wouldn't that be it? Okay. Uh, let's see. One, one, zero. Ripe can, can wean? Uh, let's see. I think this is all I'm going to get for clues. So I'm going to have to... Oh. Oh, there's something else here. Come here. I'll work on that in a moment. Senior Blanco was using the wrench to fix a leaky boss in the long stick at the time of the murder. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, in a bunch. Grapes, Marisha. Grapes, orange, apple. One oh one zero zero one 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 zero. Bunch with a rind, ripe can wean. What's a can wean? It's not cheese. There's no cheese on this thing. The only thing is there is apples. There's three apples, like six oranges. A few moments later. Oh, start from the base. Oh. Okay, so in a bunch, one, one, one. Okay. I have to start from the base. Okay, grapes, one, one, one. Then oranges is one, zero, zero. Ah, okay. Okay, gotta go back to the thing. Writing the dev real quick. Kind of doing these things with those buzzing noises were. Okay. Now, there's the one. Okay, let's put all these together. Controls by blunt force trauma to the skull. Okay, blunt force trauma to the skull. So we know blunt force trauma would be uh, pipe and candlestick. Or the wrench. So far, those are the three options we have. Madam Green confined Percival that she was having an affair with a married man. Okay. So Percival knew that. Professor and Colonel were enjoying a game of snooker to at the time of the murder. A snooker at at the time of the murder. The professor. All right, so get rid of the billiards room. No. There we go. So no billiards room. Sierra Blanco was using a wrench to fix the leaky faucet in the lounge sink at the time of the murder. Uh, was he though? Uh, I don't know about that. Dr. Scott had a mysterious burn on her leg and a strip of fabric missing from her dress. I don't see how that relates to anything. Oh, I guess I should have done it that way. Okay, hang on. Reorganize. Okay. It was seen by, by a man or staff reading the paper over a tray of fruit in the study of the time of murder. Yeah, but he had a knife. It doesn't say what time. The trailer and his wife, the doctor, were the last to leave the ballroom for the night. Dr. Scarlet is married to Mr. Peacock. An hour before the murder. Wait, who is that? So how can he be... How can Mr. Peacock... Okay, so I don't think it was the wrench. All right, let me 
let me do this. It's not plum. It's not. I can't say it's scarlet. There's got to be some clue of where she was killed. Oh, I think they took it away from me once they closed the door. Okay. Ah, so now I can put everything in. Interesting. I like it. Okay, so. Gotta go back. I don't think I got it right so far. Okay, hang on. A mysterious burn on her leg. Okay. Cause of death is Rose's blunt force trauma to the skull. So we know for a fact can eliminate the rope, revolver, and dagger. We know that for a fact. Okay. Well, technically not necessarily the revolver, we can use the back of it. Matt Green found Professor Lynch is having an affair with a married man. So Professor Plum is married. No, wait. Professor Plum. So Plum knew of it. We know that. Senior Plum was using the rest of Victor Leakey Sockins in the lounge's sink at the time of the murder. Okay, so if he was at the sink, the Colonel and Professor. Enjoying a game of snooker at at the time of the murder. So billiards. And a strip of fabric. Doctor Scarlet. So the only one we don't have is Doctor Scarlet. So I don't think it was the wrench, I take it. So it wasn't the wrench. It wasn't the pipe, so it has to be the candlestick. So candlestick. That was the candlestick. Alright, so we know the billiards were at the thing. It wasn't the Professor Plum. It wasn't Colonel Mustard. It wasn't Blanco. It wasn't Peacock. No, oh, go back. There we go. I can't really get the Scarlet's. I will say getting hitting the Scarlet or Peacock's thing is a little bit difficult, but I'm going to say Scarlet. And I just don't have the place. Mysterious burn on her leg. Yeah, okay, that ma that matches the candlestick. So we know the candlestick was the reason it was Dr. Scarlet. Okay, enjoying a game with Snickerat. Fruit in the study. So lounge is out. Study is out. Nope. Go back, you. Lounge is out. Study is out. Um. Mr. Peacock was seen of study. Mr. Peacock and his wife, the doctor, were last to leave the ballroom for the night an hour before the murder. So the only one really not talked about is the conservatory. So it has to be the conservatory. I mean, that's my immediate guess. Okay, so. Why 
how you have solved my murder. Yep. It was Dr. Scarlet in the conservatory with the candlestick. Oh. I do hope justice will be served. Well, sorry, Miss Green, you got knocked over the head in the observatory. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't get to do anything else? I was just trying to see. Okay, so everything was finally zipped into the thing. I couldn't really hit those buttons there, this brush stroke, but I like the floor puzzle thing, the thing with the feet. That was interesting. Oh, there, there's a candlestick because she got burned. Uh, thank you for making it and everything, and we'll see you in the next one. But that's the only issues I've seen is being able to hit those buttons. That was the only complicated part. I mean, as far as bug wise or anything. But it was fun, other than that. And it's the first time I think I've solved a clue room. Not including, I think, uh, uh, Kate Sparrett's uh, type word search uh, thingamajig. But, and there's another detective one too. Either way, it was fun. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.